Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Franchise Hockey Manager 3. So, as the uh, Bordeaux Boxers are sort of third season, we're uh, fair ways into the season here. We're 27 and 2, so we're still doing okay. We're, we're second overall. We're five points behind first place. Um, once again, wins are three, uh, losses are zero, uh, ties are one. Over to overtime win is a two. So overall, we're playing against the Dolphins, the first place team. We're gonna play against them in five days. If we win, we get five points, and we're two points back. If they win, we could possibly drop all the way down to fourth. <laughs> I have to admit, I kind of like it, and I kind of don't. Um, I like the fact that um, anything can happen. Um, at any minute, we can lose. We can drop all the way down to, like, two, three positions. Um, but if we win, we can then jump up two or three positions. It's definitely one of those It's one of those leagues that you kind of look at it and kind of shake your head. But at the same time, it, it makes it, it makes you smile. It makes you, makes you, you know. It makes you hurt, but it makes you feel good. Uh, there we go. The season versus uh, progress so far. We should continue your good work. In the last few weeks, your team plays very well. And it should be great to maintain this excellent performance. Your record in the last month is 5-0-0. Oh, oh. From a long-term perspective, I'll be satisfied with your work as general manager of the boxers and looks forward for a promising game. Whatever. So we went undefeated last month. We only played five games. Uh, this month in January, we play three, six, seven, eight, nine games. Including the first place team on the 6th which is right at the beginning of the month today's the 2nd so we got it in 4 days so the plan is um, like we only have two, 2 years left in this league so to be honest with you um, I might depending on our financial situation at the end of this year I might just blow it all up I don't know yet like just because we have a lot of guys that are going so I honestly don't know I don't know how we're going to be competitive next year when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, it's definitely between a rock and a hard place situation where financially we're not in the best of places. Um, could we maybe make a deal at the end of the season, maybe to buy a couple players? depends I still have to try to sign them so for re-signings I've got tons of money but for non-re-signings I got nothing so we're definitely definitely in a in a hard place uh, oh there's the under 20. Quarterfinals, uh, Canada, Switzerland, that could turn it either way. Finland, Russia, still could go either way. The U.S., Latvia, the U.S. is going to win that. Czech Republic versus Sweden. Ooh. That one, I'd probably put my money on Sweden, U.S. Uh, that one's a give or take, and this one is going to be a give or take. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how that turns out. But... The 22-6-1 Dolphins versus the 27-2 Boxers. Once again, if we win, we're two points back. If we lose, we could drop down to fourth. We'll have to see how this turns out. So, with that in mind, here we go. Once again, double check. Variable risk. Tempo. High tempo. You know what? Let's go to a low tempo. Just for this game. Overall tactics. Recycling and neutral zone tap. Neutral zone trap. And we lost 5-3. <laughs> they scored three goals in the first period. And then another one in the second. We scored two in the second. And then they scored one in the third. So we didn't even win a period there. We uh, we 
did we did we yeah we we got we got obliterated <laughs> by the first place team which means which means theoretically we actually could have fallen down to fourth which we're about to find out about uh great game streaks ends yeah great game uh, Division B under 20 starts today. No big deal. We have nothing to do with this. Great game. Oh, okay. Someone from China. Big deal. And Dimitri is resuming skating, which is good. Because once he gets back into our uh, our roster, our, our regular roster, he is going to uh, definitely put us in a position where hey, we only dropped down to third, which is good. Because that means the other team uh, didn't win. Um, but Dijon won, which bumped us down one. Um, Pioneers. Okay, Pioneers are second last. I mean, we've already beat them two two times, but that's never a guarantee. We play Gap, who is near the bottom. Then we play Strasbourg, who's near the bottom. Ooh, Berlin near the bottom. Then Angiers, who's in the middle. Then Nice. Who's last, and then Dijon again. Okay, so we actually might, and then Ems, or Emien. We actually might have a chance to actually jump ourselves into first if we have a good a good month. If that was our, if that ends up being our only loss and we win the rest of our games, we might actually have a chance of winning. So I'm going to change up that tempo. Uh... Actually, you know, yeah, well, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. Leave it at high. 6-1. Boom. Boom. Boom, doggy. Boom. Puppy's wanting the attention, so got to pay him attention while I'm recording. So there we go. 6-1 win. One win down. Seven more to go, I think, for the for this month. Uh, hopefully. Keyword there. Hopefully. We can keep this up. No one got hurt, which obviously has been a major problem with us. Uh, sure, game performance, uh, had a great game, good. Uh, World Junior Championship, uh, best, wait, who won the... Wait. Championship, best defenseman. Alright, fin right, so... Okay, well, you're being added to my shortlist, and so are you. Even though both of you are probably going to the NHL. Didn't tell me who actually won. Went up against Gap, so Gap's at fourth last. Just going to clear uh, Good there. Some game. Six to eight. There we go. There we go. We scored. Wow, we scored five goals in the first period. They scored four. Then we scored three in the second, and they scored two. So we won both periods, which is good. If you can win at least two periods out of the three, you should be good. Um, and try for a tie in the third in the third period. Always tie for a third. If you're if you're, you know, try to win the first two and then tie the third, or at least win two out of three and tie the third. Like tie one, win two. Because if you win two and tie the third, then you should win the game. Unless you like win two and then lose the lose one, and that one you lose is <laughs> horrible. Like it's like a you know they score three goals in the first period, then you then you score one goal in the second and one goal in the third. Like then technically you still lost. Uh, okay, so we got uh, Gauthier with the whatever his last name is. Uh, he is getting better at center, which is good. Once he considers that his like his primary position, then things are going to go really well. Strasbourg. So I said the teams above us are winning as well, but we're only two points behind. Oh, but we lost in overtime, so at least we eked out a point there. Strasbourg only got two points. Even when you play someone lower in your standings than you. Um, there is a chance, obviously, that you're going to lose. Oh, boy. Yeah, so this this season, not so much wheeling and dealing, not so much playing around and fiddling and farting. Um, it's definitely a, a situation where 
we pretty much have our 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 tactics the way we want them. Um, you know, let the AI do the lines. I don't want to keep the same the same tactics now. Got to keep the trap because not many people are really good on this team. So we try to you know keep you know high tempo, keep the trap going, keep the pressure on. Uh, good good performance. Oh, okay, it's someone from China, no big deal. South Korea wins the under twenty division two. Good to know against Belgium. Uh, you got the best goalie award. Uh, you I actually might add you as my short list. I think I already add you in my short list. No, I didn't. But uh, well, I'll add you in my short list anyways. And the division three starts today with Turkey, Iceland, Ir uh, uh, Israel, New Zealand, Bulgaria, and Serbia. I want to know who won the regular under twenty. Not the World Cup. World Championship Division One World Juniors. Let's go to Canada. Uh, Canada, Lisa. World Junior Championship history. There we go. So this year, eighteen nineteen, uh, Finland got gold, Sweden got silver, and Canada got bronze. So Canada has gotten a bronze and a silver in the last three years since we started playing. Sweden has won gold and silver. The U.S. has a gold and that's it. Czech Republic has a bronze and a silver. Finland has a gold and a bronze. It's actually not that bad. Most of the teams are the same here except for the U.S. I want to go home. There we go. All right, so here we go. We're playing against Rouen. Uh, Rouen is in seventh right now. We are now we're slotting down. We're in fourth. If we win and Lyon loses, we can actually leapfrog them a little bit, but I don't think that's a major probability here. Yeah, five one. Okay, so this month is it was looking good, and I think we're now what two and two and two this month, which I don't like. But, you know, there's only so much you can do. We had a chance. We were playing a lot of teams lower than us in the standings. But, uh... Big deal. Oh! Bruce Elbow. You're day-to-day. -day. Does that mean you're... Mm. We play Angiers today. Tommy, you're being called out, buddy. Uh, you're on the injury list. Now, how much money are we in the hole now for? Twenty grand. Ouch. Okay. That's not the best, but let's change up some things here. Normal tempo. We're not too worried about these right now. These are pretty good. Um, let's go high risk offensive taking. You know what? We're actually not that good. Tempo is going to stay. What does it say when I click tempo? Of course, we're going to turn the puck. Slow time off. Let's go low. Let's see. Just see how that works. Um, worry about goalies at this point. What else there? We're playing up against Angiers. Let's look at their goalie. Which one are they probably going to play with? Wow. Okay, so both are really good. Um, I think I'm going to go with him, though. I haven't really scouted him. Hmm. 
three tendencies. So how would I know I should shoot, say, glove on this guy, for example? Right here. Ah! Passing's really low. His glove is not that. Puck handling is really low. Recovery is low. Low shots. Here we go. He's got a 13 on low shots, but a 12 on glove. Okay. So we probably want to go low glove side, maybe, is what we'd want to go, go, low, go low glove. If it's the other goalie... go glove as well. Scouting. Uh, so I think he's the starter. Okay, so if it's Kickert, then we go low glove. If it's the other guy, we just go glove, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So we're going to play. Uh, it doesn't tell me who the other team is. Come on. Change. Yeah, there we go. Uh, special. Aha! They're going with Kickert. Kickert is their goalie. Okay. Kickert. Uh. Was Kicker? Yeah, Kicker was the one that we want to go low glove on, right? Let's see if this works. Low shots. Pocheck is really bad too. Yeah, we're gonna try going low glove. Yeah. Or do I want to go glove? Yeah, we're going to go high glove on him. And this is just automatically set. All right. Go back to 5 on 5. And lines continue. Sim. And we won 2 nothing. Look at that. Okay. I gotta start doing this a little bit more often. <laughs> Low tempo and take our shots. Okay. So we're playing against Nice in the next game, but that's gonna be the end of this one. I will see you guys in the next episode when we play against Nice and finish off the month of January. See you guys then. Bye bye.